Hello and welcome to Vault Life. The Tonnet sequence takes some work to get one's head around, and if you're not familiar with neo Riemannian music theory, it's easy to end up just hitting it with random gates to get some rather aimless chord progressions. If you come from a more traditional tonal background, one way to start getting some easy on the ear harmonies is by leaving the parallel input alone. The parallel transform switches a chord from major to minor, which can be useful, but it isn't usually part of tonal chord progressions because it's no longer part of the same scale. The leading and relative transforms move to the third or sixth, staying in key. Repeating either will take you back where you were, but alternating them will keep on moving by thirds, so that after every second transform you've moved up or down by a fifth. You could thus keep traversing the circle of fifths forever, but the home button or input will take you back to the beginning. Let's put these into practice for a generative patch. I use two of the gate divider outputs from a Pittsburgh game system to trigger the leading and relative transforms, and a third to trigger the home transform. The fourth gate division is patched back into the game system to move the home trigger around so that the rhythmic relationship between the transforms is always changing. The Tonnet sequence outputs drive three analog VCOs to create chords. A combination of a Turing machine and branches create random gates, striking two channels of Optimix, which are fed by pitched up or wave folded versions of the VCO outputs. This complements the low, slow chords, and Herbverb adds some shimmer to give even more upper harmonic content. Every now and then, a slow envelope opens one Optimix channel, adding a string like melodic accompaniment. The Tonnets creates parsimonious voice leading, which means that each voice only ever moves by one or two semitones, thus ensuring that this melodic part moves smoothly. You can hear a full track created this patch in my previous video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this useful.